Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of War on the Sea, playing as the Imperial Japanese Navy. Things have progressed quite a bit since last episode. We are on the verge of winning our struggle on Malaita and we have encountered a six ship convoy here and I-30 is the closest and is going to investigate. Let's see what we have. Ooh, three destroyers. Not really mm. anything important. So we're gonna leave immediately and cut back to when some more action is developing. And once more into the breach, I-19 has detected one heavy and three light cruisers. Let's see what it really is. And it is a large convoy indeed. Wow. Cleveland, Cleveland, Brooklyn and Cleveland. Go after number one here.
unfortunately only scratched that cruiser, but better than nothing. So cutting back and returning with more action as usual. And with that being said, Malata is now under our control and we push the final few Marines out over the next couple of hours or days. And here we go. Now, in our campaign, we have now one of our task forces in rest and repair. We have lost two submarines and a fleet carrier of the Shokaku class. Enemy losses, on the other hand, are absolutely horrendous as of now and before the US Navy will get their Essex and Iowa Essex carriers and Iowa class battleships. They have Washington, North Carolina and Alabama as capital ships in the Pacific with older battleships in the Atlantic, which we don't need to worry ourselves about. And that is our honors role we sunk most of their heavy cruisers, quite a few of their light cruisers and all carriers that were in the Pacific. Now, on the other hand, in the real world, the US encountered that situation with one carrier being operational and a second carrier being loaned by the United Kingdom. And then we all know what happened. The Essex class came online. The carriers that were damaged were repaired and a large number of repaired and modernized battleships turned the tide. And in the real world, the US occupied Guadalcanal after a long and hard struggle. So particularly in the last couple of days of September, we sunk a lot of smaller vessels, indication that we damaged a lot of larger surface ships and that there was no attempt, apparently, to come at us with the three remaining battleships for a decisive engagement. Now, that being said, the campaign is over. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Please consider liking and subscribing. And I see you all on the next campaign.